Whew. This is getting to be a bit of a ritual. I think these blokes in here think I've got a bit of a sweet tooth though, anyway, but still, I've never really told them what I'm up to. Most of the girls don't give a shit though. leave it here and another run off down the street. So I thought we might just have a little comparison about healthy choices. Some bloke got some apples, some bloke got some licorice all sorts, so me I got a sweet tooth so I think I'm in trouble. Ah, anyway. <laughs> if you've ever wondered some people just aren't cut out for manual labour, one of my helpers just dropped the bag of sugar on the ground so here we go again. I'll have to embarrass myself and go for buy one more. Uh, anyway, I shouldn't, I shouldn't get upset for the free help. Jesus. <laughs> uh, He's a poor little wounded soldier. We were sweeping our sugar up off the side of the road where this was spilt. And the bloke come along and said, what are you doing? And I said, that's ah, all right, the girls won't mind. But I forgot to mention the girls I was talking about was my bees. So I think he reckons I'm a little rough. But anyway, we'll make ourselves some syrup and keep the ladies fed. Goodness, eh? Up and down the road like a bloody yo-yo. Looks like we had a bit more rain down here again. Oh, heck. Maybe we'll be able to get into the scrub yet. Well, I don't think it goes down too far, but still. <laughs> oh, God, my back's getting old. <laughs> anyway, we're down here with our, with our little feeding exercise going on. And we've got a few hives here that are a bit weaker than the stronger hives. So we're probably going to put it at feeder inside the hive so they can get a bit of a boost along and don't have to fight for the ladies next door because it's interesting we'll, we'll check one of the strong hives out see how they're getting on and a couple of these little nukes is one of the ones was from the orange tree and she's a beautiful queen in there so I don't want to lose her <sighs> hope we brought a jug do we did bring a jug didn't we we had a jug the other day we came down here to do this the other day and it rained its ass off <laughs> so that changed our long where's my jug going okay well we get, a, get ourselves the jug that might save us a bit of a drama because i think lifting up 20 liters and pouring it in one of these little little holes might be interesting could be a bit of fun look at that the rough prick hadn't even gone and got the other dolly cone in there yet but anyway it seemed to work fine with just one Anyway, I don't know if everybody remembers, but these were the feeders we used when we bought the little package bees the other year. So that's just one version. This is like you'd pop in your, instead of a frame, you take your frames out and just pop that in the side of your box. Got me trusty jug. Pour your sugar in and shut the lid. And the girls can, I suppose I better show you that bit in case you can't find me other one. The girls can run down this little cone. So the girls can run down there. And of course, as the sugar syrup goes down, they can go climb down a little bit further until they get to the bottom. And then they are, shouldn't have to worry about, well, they don't have to fight for the, don't have to fight the neighbors for it. And the other one that's really cool, maybe slightly more expensive, but still, depends how many hives you've got. 
these are really good because if your bees are a little bit psycho, you don't actually have to get into the brood box. Like you've actually, these are actually, you're gonna have exposed frames and the bees are gonna be there. These you're gonna feed on the top and you don't have to actually see the bees really, except for a few that are in here. And so you can probably do that without putting your suit on if you're a bit scaredy cats, but still. Anyway, and there is a cheap ass bottle one somewhere or other, but being that we've got a bit of an ant issue going on, I don't usually use them, but if you haven't got any ants, there's a cheap option for you. Anyway, we will go and light up our smoker, get our suits on, go up here and see who's hungry. Yep. Far <coughs> out. Let's move that out. <laughs> Leaves me smokers working. Oh, boy. I've just got me trusty little notebook. I've got it all slack now. I used to have a diary, but it got such a pain in the ass because I'm a little bit like I'm not there every day. So I thought, well, maybe I'll just I've, I've transitioned into just a flat out, just a little notebook. So I write me dates in. Because I used to cross the jolly diary dates out. <laughs> well, that's a bit stupid, so I'll just write them in here this way. So we just got a little bit of starting our winter checks and a little bit of sugar feeding. And then, of course, we'll take a few more notes when we get into the hive and see what we've got. I already know the couple of these girls need a feed, but that's all right. And we'll do that. My Uncle Wes wouldn't think this is much chop. He used to say, good country after a rain will stick to your boots. Like he meant up the side of your boots. So anyway, don't think he'd think much of this dirt. But anyway, here we go, ladies. What's going on? Little puff for you. Little puff for you. And we'll take our what, half a half a lid off. <laughs> oh dear. There <laughs> we go. Righty oh, Camry Crow. Now, if you're wondering what a Camry Crow happens to be. There's a car down here called a Camry and they happened to sponsor a football team called the Crow, so I'm guessing that's what that was about. <laughs> right, are we ready for the big reveal? Let's have a look what's going on. I reckon we've got about four frames of bees going on in here, so we'll just have a bit of a look whether how much how much competition has been going on. Oh look at that. Well, I've got a little bit excited here, made a little patch, and then got a little tiny bit of honey in the middle of it. <laughs> That's kind of cute, isn't it? And we'll pop that down there. Let's have a look what else we got going on here. What are you up to, chicky babes? They're nibbling away on their stores here. So they're not overstored up. So this is what I'm thinking. I'm going to give them a little bit of a boost along. Yeah, so they won't hurt. They're looking quite happy. They're not looking sleepy, so that's good. There. I'll just make sure she's not here. But we'll sit it there for a second, and I've got just gonna grab the rubber bands out the bottom. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but this is where they nibbled at the rubber band. See how they nibbled away there till they eventually got rid of it, and then they dropped it on the bottom of their box. And sometimes, well, you can see the ones out the front. I think I dragged some of them out, but the girls got rid of the rest. So yeah, have a look at that. So that's the advantage of rubber bands over string. Just have a look at the rest of this. Yep, so she's laying a bit. Because they're still using their old comb. You don't want to get carried away overfeeding them, because, I mean, these guys aren't going to go off their chops, but if they're strong enough, you just want to get them healthy for winter. You don't want to get them insanely breathing their asses off and then all of a sudden you stop feeding them. And then you're probably creating more problems. I'll just have a look at the last one. So still building this one out. The boss just ran around the back. <gasps> there she is. Really good, very good. So if we put all the frames back where they were and take one out well, probably two out, I don't know, we'll see. I can't remember how many that feeders take up, but we'll bring the feeder over here. Just wait there. <laughs> We're just gonna need to take the two frames out to accommodate our in-high feeder. And that'll just sit in there like that. And the girls can run down there and get some sugar and build up a bit. Of course, you didn't bring it today, but you can also put a little bit of pollen, pollen patty on the top as well. If you're not open feeding pollen, 
mm, I don't know, there's a whole lot of controversy about whether, I mean, everybody puts pollen patties in here, but we haven't doing that today, but that's uh, another project. Anyway, we'll go and put some sugar in our feeder and we'll make our way along the boxes here. Girls are waking up from the smoke. There you go, chicky babes. You'll enjoy that. Look at that. Breakfast on tap. Right. pretty good it's interesting though you can really tell the difference like with the weaker girls which is what we were saying earlier that they put their feed inside the girls over here they have because they're a bit stronger they're blooming rocking on so they're breeding like crazy which is good which is just what you want so they should winter really nicely hopefully we give these a couple of weeks a couple of feeds here and there I mean this is our little swarms that we've caught that's why they're over here by themselves so it's interesting of course if you've only got one hive and you're in the middle of nowhere it doesn't really matter much but being that we've got different strength at different times we're just trying to bolster up these little colonies and that's when in-house feeding gets really blooming comes into its own so you know the cool thing about beekeeping at least these days you've got a fair few different options and so yeah just monitor your ladies just see if they're hungry and maybe consider giving them some feed from sugar don't forget the pollen either when you're at this game anyway there's some sugar feeding for you 